Hey there, everybody. I um, am sorry about that last video I posted. I was trying to figure out how to do a live stream, and I thought I deleted that right when it was done recording. So I'm still figuring out the live thing. I'm going to have to post a how-to video on how to live stream after this is all done. But I figured out you got to go to the settings page, and then you got to open up the tabs, and then you got to click on the live stream broadcast thing, uh, whatever. There's a lot of different stuff, so I think I got to figure it out. But back to the point, I'm going to show you um, this this room. I'm going to work with some foglays, and so this is a good opportunity to show you how to use foglays. And you can see I've I've worked on this wood. Remember that video I posted? Um, how it's the easiest way to paint wood. This camera is attached to a power cord, so I can't back it up any further. But I'm going to show you on this cabinet. I'm back in the back in the pirate ship. You see, I'll move out of the way so you can see behind me. So you got the front of the pirate ship over there, and they added in these cabinets. And so this is an add-on to the initial job. I've come back to make these cabinets match. So I used that exact same technique that's in my video, easy way to. Um, wood or something like that and, and it, <clears throat> that's the first layer but now I'll add a second layer to that that's not in that video and I'll use faux glaze so what I mean by faux glaze is this right here look uh, this is one kind modern masters and they're not paying me to show this I just like it it it's this particular one is the only one I can find that has such a long open time. And by that I mean it stays wet for a long time. It doesn't dry fast. On It stays wet for like an hour. It says one hour open time right on the bottle there. So what this is, is just a clear paint base. This will dry clear. So when I put tint in this, and let me show you what I mean by tint. I'm going gonna, gonna to put this down here. You'll see me work out of it. And then I've got tint right here. So this is, I did this in another video, but I'll show you again. The brand is Caltent that, that you can see right there. Just barely see that it says Caltent. And they sell them in tubes like this. And maybe it's 20 bucks a tube. Raw umber is the color that I'm using. Watch me just put this on here. This is tint, not to be confused with paint. This does not dry. So I'm just going to dip into it. I could shoot this straight into that whole court right there. But instead of do that, I'm going to put it here and just use my brush and dip into the tint and mix it on the surface just like I do the rest of my paint. Uh, now I just need a brush. Let me get it. I'll probably use this guy right here. We'll be good. Okay. Give me a second. This brush is all dirty. Let's see. I always keep a big old rag around to dry off my brushes. Somebody looking in the window at me over there, wondering who I'm talking to. Just watch me dip in this here. Let's move this where you can see it. Put this on here. Now this glaze is going to stay wet for a long time for me, so I'll be able to add color to this. That's the advantage of using this particular one. That long open time. Now I'll just get a little bit of this. Now watch how far this goes. That little bit's going to add a lot of color to this. I like this shade of brown for doing wood because it's a very, it's it's it's, it's a very dark. Um, it's not a real rich brown, and it's good for making things look more antique. So doing this kind of rustic finish. But look at just by streaking it. With this brush, I get all this grain, and I don't even need to bother doing any fancy wood graining techniques, because just the look of that by itself adds, adds like this tone and depth of wood. You'll find that this is fun stuff to play with. When your brush is kind of empty, you can just do quick, uh, you can just kind of go across the grain like this and get real interesting texture make the wood look fancier. But really what's making it look like wood is just having those colors in there. It's not so much the the graining technique, you know. 
So I'm just going to put a thin layer of this, and I'll even use water to thin it out a bit. The thing that I do need to do with this when it's done is put a clear coat. So I'll put a more heavy-duty clear coat on it when it's done to have hard protective shell because this glaze is not a real hard finish when it's done. It does dry, but not, not the hardest, most durable finish that I ever saw. So the combination of these two things, I just love the way it looks like old rustic wood without even having to do any fancy graining or nothing. It's always fun to try to throw in little things too though. Mess with the brush, manipulate the, the surface a little bit. You can get all kinds of interesting looks. You can make it look kind of burled right there. heavier where I want shadows. Let's get some more of that. Maybe I'll put a lot towards this edge. 